All right, kids already getting back to school this week and next week, and uh, that means we need to start thinking about healthy lunches. And joining us now with some ideas is Shanti Opella, registered dietitian at Blue Cross Blue Shield, Michigan. Thank you for being here with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, you have some great ideas for us. We want to get to that in just a second. But first, I want to start with, do you have some tips on, well, can you just tell us how important it is that the kids actually eat a healthy lunch? Yeah, well, the lunch is going to play an important role, not only in performing well in school. The other thing is that it's going to help them study. It's going to help them play well after school uh, and do all the things that you want to do. And so there are a few things that go into that. One thing that parents can pay attention to in particular is going to be balance. And that means including at least three out of the five food groups in every single lunch. That's going to make sure that they get the nutrients they need. Uh, milk, fruit is an excellent way to just pack that in in addition. So definitely want to shoot for five, but at least three of the food groups. Okay. And you have, okay. some, you have some suggestions or uh, some ideas that you have with you in front of you? Yeah. So I wanted to touch on two extremely easy options here. Well, of course, school lunch is going to be free through the end of this year, but some parents prefer to pack it themselves. So we've got a two ingredient salsa chicken in the slow cooker. It can make it the night before. It takes four hours in the slow cooker. You don't attend to it. Uh, so this is taco Tuesday packed in a couple street tacos and vegetables and a little bit of cheese and then a healthier take on a Lunchable. So this is a whole wheat English muffin. Uh, usually Lunchables aren't going to provide that nutrition that kids need. And so this one has a healthier marinara sauce with limited sugar added and veggies uh, to pack on there. So really good options. But snacks are another thing that parents need to pay attention to when they come home from school. One of the things that has happened over the years is that we're seeing increased uh, ultra processed food intake almost two thirds of calories in children are coming from these ultra processed foods. So I have some snacks as well here. Yeah. Can you tell us so when you're out, let's say looking or shopping for some snack ideas and you see some snacks, usually at the grocery store, some of them will, will look like they're completely healthy, but we know not all of them are. Are there some things to watch out for when you're looking at the nutrition labels or to watch out for the marketing that they put on those labels? Yes. So anytime that you're going to see the word organic or natural, it's not always going to translate to healthy. So getting in there and reading the nutrition facts label, I don't like to see more than 10 grams of sugar or so for cereal and for bars and things like that. So that's a good one to look out for. And you also want to look at the ingredient list and make sure that there are as minimal ingredients as possible. I have a couple of fruit bars here that are a great option for fruit roll-ups or fruit snacks that only has two ingredients and it's all fruit. So just getting out there, looking, reading the nutrition label. Do you think the best idea to plan out is to like just plan out the week ahead, like to do one week at a time, like Monday, Tuesday, exactly what you're going to do each day? Yeah, keep some snacks on hand. I have some yogurt here. Um, sandwich is one of those kind of options that are going to be high in ultra processed foods because of deli meats and stuff. So I have some options with peanut butter and fruit, uh, another one with hummus with sliced cucumbers or whatever vegetable, and then also a smoothie bowl too take the place of ice cream because sometimes that makes it into the snack routine too. So just keeping this kind of stuff on hand and planning ahead. Yeah. That's all about planning ahead. That, that's what it sounds like. Well, Shanti Appella, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, if you want more information, go to a healthier Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Kevin.